Hi guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be building a very simple web server using Python. Um, we're going to be using the standard HTTP.server module which comes shipped with Python when you download it. So the first thing we're going to need to do in this video is just download Python to your computer, your machine. So python.org, just under the latest version here. Once that's done, um, we'll create, I've created a, a web server folder on my desktop. I'm going to create a new file in this folder. Uh, we call it webserver.py. Okay. Now the first thing we need to do is just import the HTTP server module. So from HTTP.server import. So we want two classes from this module. We want the HTTP server class and the base HTTP request handler class. Now we're going to use the HTTP server class to define our port uh, number to listen on um, as well as to serve the actual server forever until we press Control c to stop it. And the base HTTP request handler class is going to handle all the GET requests or POST requests that the uh, server receives. Uh, we're only going to be dealing with GET requests in this video. Okay, so now that's done. I'm just going to define a function called main and this is going to be where we instantiate our actual pool server name and we're going to serve the actual server. So the first thing I'll do is I'll create a variable called port, all uppercase, I'll call that. We'll make it listen on port 8000 for now. Next thing we want to do in this function is create a server. So server equals, and it's going to be an instance of the HTTP server class, which we imported up here. So HTTP server. And this takes in two arguments really. The first thing it takes in is a tuple, which contains the host name, which we're gonna leave blank in this case, because this is gonna be served up on local host. And it also takes in the port number, which we stated here, so port. And then the second argument this HTTP server class takes is the request handler. So for now, I'll just call this hello handler. Okay, which we're going to create in a second. Next thing we want to do is just print to the terminal to say that the uh, server's up and running. So server running on port. And we'll make that display the port number. Okay, and then the last thing we want to do in this function is server.serve, the serve forever method. So as I said before, this will start the server and it will run forever until we stop it with control C in the terminal. Okay, so that's the main function complete. The next thing we wanna do, so is create a, as we stated down here, this hello handler class. We wanna create, create this hello handler class here. So this is gonna basically be used to handle all the GET requests that the server receives. So we'll start off by saying class, hello handler. <clears throat> and what this class does, it inherits from this base HTTP request handler class. So base, there it is. Okay, so the first thing we want to do here, we want to handle all GET so we'll create a new method within this class. So define, and we'll state this as do get. It takes in self as an argument. Okay, so the first thing a server should do is send back a response. So, you know, you have the status codes like the 200, which means, you know, the file's been found and it can serve the web page. So let's do that. We do self dot send response in this case we can just put the status code in there which is 200 okay so the next thing the server does is it sends the well basically headers which details the content type which the web page will display so in this case i just want to do self.send header uh, and in this case we're going to just do content type 
and in this case it's just text forward slash HTML. That should be fine for now. And then we we always have to close the headers once we've listed them all. So we do self dot uh, end headers, and that's fine like that. Okay, so I also just want to um, serve up some content to our page which we load when this server's running. So for now, I just put self uh, dot w file, which means writable file dot write. This will write to the to the page. In this case, I'll just put some text. So, hello, Connor. <clears throat> we also have to use the encode method here. So what this encode method does, basically, for HTTP servers, you cannot send strings on a HTTP request. So this encode method basically, basically encodes this string into bytes and then it's served up on the web page as a string. So that's basically it for now. All we now have to do is make sure this um, main function runs if we run this uh, webserver.py file directly from the terminal. So in order to do that, we do if name equals main and then we'll just make it run main yeah so basically they're saying if you know this if name equals main that means the uh, file the web server.py file is being run directly it's not being run as an imported module basically and this should be it so when we run our server and we visit Put, uh, pull 8000, we should see hello Connor displayed on the web page. So let's do that now. I've saved my web server.py, open up the terminal. So I'm in my web server folder already. If we list, you can see there's the web server.py file there. So we'll do python web server.py. You can see we've got our server running on port 8000. Let's open that. And you can see, hello, Connor, if we change that. Start server again. Hello, world. Okay, that's cool. Um, so just to quickly uh, finish off this lesson, we're going to make this, turn this into an echo server now. So let's just, for clarity, we'll call this echo handler. Say echo handler. So what the echo server does, it's going to take in the path, the actual, um, yeah, the web address path, and it's going to display it in the browser here. So in order to do that, we would do self.write. We'll just change this self.write method here. And we'll go self.write, so self.path. So the path takes in the, um, the address path which is in the address bar up here. So now if we run that, see we've got hello, if we type something else in there. Um, and also if we wanna get rid of that forward slash We'll just um, slice the string, the path string, so it goes from the uh, the second, the second. If we put it at um, the second index, it will take off this forward slash um, forward slash here. So if we save that, refresh that, and you can see it's removed the forward slash. So yeah, this is basically it, guys. It's a very simple web server. I'm going to expand on this. Um, so we'll, you know, go into post requests and, um, you know, CRUD applications. So, you know, create and post, delete and post, that kind of thing. But this is just a very simple uh, intro to the Python HTTP.server module. Hope you uh, got something out of this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Any questions, please drop, um, drop me a comment below and I will answer as much as I can. Thanks again, guys. Cheers.